So the little Cali is about 18 or 19. And she's a strong kitty, but she's not been doing well lately. You're a good girl. She's really not eating and she's drinking, but not as much. And she's the last of our 10 kitties. And I really want her to be around a couple more years, but it just doesn't look like it's going to be. She's just not acting right and she's not feeling right. And at this point, we've learned from experience you can run to the vet and torture them with all that, and it just, you know, when they get, I mean, we've experienced this at 10 years old and 12, 15, 16. When they get to be this age, I mean, you keep them going, you're torturing them. But you make it comfortable for here, and I'm keeping close looks on that tabs on her. She's a sweet girl. Good girl, Callie. But some of the signs to look for when a cat's not doing well in there at the end of their life, you know, take age into consideration. Of course, their history, health history. Um, their their habits change, sleeping change places that they sleep places that they go if they start hiding and especially if they stop eating things they really like um, those are strong indications if their breath starts smelling really bad or ammonia like um, that's indicative of usually kidney or it could be liver issues and uh, losing weight so don't let it continue like I've noticed like sleeping, her tail just hangs. It doesn't curl around like it used to. She never liked her tail touched. And also, real strange thing, I used to play rough with her and she'd, you know, bite me and stuff, play bite, but never had any issues. The last time, this was four months ago, she bit me. I got a bad infection, so there must be bad bacteria in her mouth. And I don't know if it's her, I don't think it's her teeth bothering her. I think she's got in renal failure. Excessive thirst also renal failure, um, excessive urination or more urination, more times going in the box. Um, our last cat had some kind of bladder tumor. Her bladder was very hard, you could feel that. And she was going smaller and smaller amounts more frequently and sometimes couldn't even go when she got in the box. And I don't think we waited too late, but it was to the point where it wasn't fair anymore. So, um, it's really one of the most difficult things you ever have to do. And I just, at this point, it's like, you just pray that they just go to sleep peacefully and just don't wake up. And that's horrible to say, but honestly, I hate making the decision and doing that for them. But it's one of the most selfless things you can do. And it's the, when it comes to that point, it's the right thing to do. So I don't know if she'll be around a day, two, a week, I don't know, but keeping close tabs on her. Right, Callie? We love you, girl. Callie, you, you got a nice look in your eyes. You pretty girl. We love you, girl. She's been a good kitty. 73.